All right, we are here, another Hickory Academy Minute with uh, Sensei Jeff Doss, as you may have heard of him called Sushi uh, Doss. Yes, sir. And uh, most of you guys that are watching this probably, probably know about him, but some of my students that, that maybe don't, or just people watching this video that don't know about him. Jeff, I want you to tell me you know, a little bit about you know, your background in martial arts, when you got started, and some of the things that you've done. All right. Well, thank you for having me, of course. And yes, my name is Jeff Sushi Doss. Um, I started martial arts when I was four years old and immediately got into tournament karate. Probably my first tournament I went to was a national tournament in um, Greensboro when I was like, I don't know, three months into karate. So, and it got into the national scene at an early age and from there on it kind of took off and did locals and regionals around the area but a lot of national tournaments. And at 10 years old, or oh, at nine, I got my black belt and started training with John Valera, who was uh, one of the best uh, forms of weapons people of all time, and he was from Virginia, and now he's a big time stunt coordinator for Hollywood and things like that. So I started training with him to get the private lessons, and in 94, when I was 10, I started doing the NASCA tour. I was only, I just got my black belt, and uh, that was my goal, and I uh, started um, winning from there, and um, took off and became a, you know, a consistent competitor from all the way then from 94 all the way to now and haven't really stopped and you know been real, real consistent been one of the top of I guess forms and weapons practitioners in the game not just in NASCA but also in NBL and overseas as well with the WKA and I also won the ISKA um, so I won on ESPN for the US Open um, you know won numerous world titles and things like that but um, overall, for, and been on prestigious teams like Team CJB and um, now Team Proper, which um, is one that's getting a lot of notice now. And now also, not, I have my own karate school, Grand Slam Martial Arts in Rustburg, Virginia. And I also have a national tournament called Grand Slam Open that's the NBL National uh, for the can -Am Conference and a Blue Ridge Regional Conference. And so that's, the, that's like my baby right now, you know, is, is doing that. and. Um, my team Grand Slam that is keeping me busy and teaching them, you know, as much as I can and um, focusing on, you know, making new champions, so. Excellent. And, you know, a competitor that, that always to me was re very creative, and I think you saw that here in, in the NBL here lately. You got an overall grand championship in creative forms and then came back in the next year did it in traditional in forms. traditional, yes, yes. So it's uh, the first time anyone's done that before. Um, and it was real important to me because um, I've been wanting that traditional forms title <laughs> for a long time and it always had kind of creeped away from me. So I took a break from it for a couple years and focused on my creative and just really blew up and then came back and won Korean and, and um, won the grand champion with it. So it was really, really cool and um, you know, very blessed to, to do something like that. Uh, and you know, it's a long career as far as competing in sport karate. And one of the things I, I like and I always uh, praise Jeff Doss about is he's one of those guys that didn't just retire or stop <clears throat> stop being involved with the sport. But he's also given back as a promoter. He hasn't been to his tournament. It's really blown up in a short span of time. Yeah, and, three years. And, <clears throat> and creative, just just like he is as a competitor. There's a lot of cool stuff that they do with the Iron Man Challenge and a lot of different divisions that they do. It's really really nice. And one of the things I like about Jeff, he's not just a, a sport competitor. He he's you know also cares about you know the, the self defense aspect, the life uh, enrichment aspect, and you know what are some of the things that you've taken away from karate, not just from a sports aspect, but just some of the things you learned as a person through your training through martial arts um mm -hmm. <clears throat> let's see every day i learn something from martial arts and i mean i tell everyone you know i have the best job in the world you know i get to do what i love and um you know as a teacher you know teaching martial arts you know i learn some every day um and a lot of times just some you know you don't realize how much you mean to a kid you know until someday they say something you're just like wow okay that you know or their parents tell you something um you know, that's just, you know, really, really cool to me. Um, as far as what I get every day, I'd say respect has been my main thing and that's carried me throughout as everyone when they taught me, you know, they always comment how respectful I am, saying yes ma'am, yes, yes sir, and it's, uh, you know, I always get yelled at by some people for saying yes ma'am, yes sir, too much to them, like, I'm not old, you know, but, <laughs> like, you know, that's what martial arts is about, is that respect. And it carries through for my whole life. Um, and 
the way I, I treat my family, the way, um, you know, what I tell people too is, you, I have the, a great family, perfect family, but my family and I, like, we take our martial arts, I'm not, well, I'm the only one that's really competitively, or not competitively, but into martial arts actively, but they all support me. And the things that we did in martial arts, we didn't just do it, and the things we learned, we did it at home every day. And we still every day, and and it's and it's become you know a li a, a way of living you know um, is that respect the the focus the leadership all that stuff and um, you know it's just a cool thing for me um, as far as you know what I do with with my school I'm in a small town and I'm I know that this is my calling to um, be a part of these kids' lives and and even adults' lives. Um, in my area, um, because it's you know it's important to me to uh, get back to the community and um, you know raise these new uh, new kids up and uh, you know be be uh, whatever I can to them. You know if it's a father figure, if it's uh, you know just a sensei, if it's a you know whatever they need. Um, in some way or another, the sen you know you 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 do that to, you know for that kid. Um, Sometimes you don't realize you're like, I'm just a sensei, but sometimes in that kid's mind, you may be, you know, their father figure or their older brother um, or their, you know, uncle or whatever. So it's pretty cool. You know, I'm very blessed as far as what I get to do. So. And it's, it's very evident when you see your students compete, you know, there's things that you're teaching them beyond just kicking and punching. And, I, and also, I thought it was really nice that we did our Acts of Kindness Challenge and, and Jeff uh, it was one of the schools that jumped right on it, yes, you know, yes. helped promote that, and they did that within their school, and uh, uh, thank you for that, yes, by sir, the way. Yes, sir, it was a fun time. And we talked a little bit about, you know, all the titles, and the numerous titles, numerous different leagues, and uh, which I think is a mark of a, of a good champion. Um, but also, you know, I, I was kind of there with you some when we were traveling around competing when, yes, sir, when yes, sir. all those titles weren't weren't stacking up and, and just some perseverance through there and yes, some, yeah. a, lot of, a lot of growth. What, what would you say to some of those guys that are out there competing now but, you know, they're trying to get to that level that, that you're on and, and maybe stuck in some of those same ruts that we were as competitors. Yes, yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, <clears throat> it's interesting. Um, you know, like I said, I've, I've done this for a long time. I'm 28 years old, so I've been doing martial arts 24 years and straight through. Um, and I'll have my high, I've had my high times, my low times, my in-betweens. Um, you know, when I, when I started as a junior, I was winning my division all the time. And then, you know, I, have, I was always very consistent. And then I switched to traditional and I started winning. And then when I went into the NBL, it was a whole new thing for me. Um, and I became like a name real fast. But I, the, the championships and things, like you said, weren't, weren't stacking up. And so it was, it was tough. Um, but through that time, I learned more about myself and I wouldn't be a competitor I, would, I am now or the martial arts I am now if I didn't because I knew I had to branch out from what I already was. When I started, I was a clean, you know, competitor that was a very good kicker, but as far as my own personality and stuff, I didn't always put it out there. And from now on, I, now I have that new, like, edge. Um, when people see me, you know, my intensity is at an all-time high, and that's something you have to work on. Um, and it's that presence that a lot of people don't understand. That's why I always tell people, once that kid gets present, you know, that presence of mind, that presence in the ring, not just the same thing forms fighting that's what's going to take you to that next level um, and really you know pushing on through the hard times and of course you got to love it i mean that's you know i i love i think about it every day um you know as most people see you know my facebook status and stuff i always have something or i'll think of, or remember about something and and uh you know a time that i had that really pushed me um and there's just so many and it's just really cool to be able to have something like that in your life that uh, you know has done so much for you. So I think that's that's excellent advice. <clears throat> you know, you see guys that are they're skilled, but they, like you say, they don't have that presence yet. They haven't developed yeah. it. You know, just the the uh, ability to be comfortable being yourself and exactly, that. Exactly. You exactly. Know? Yeah. I mean, I knew that because when I was coming up, tricking was kind of or what it wasn't even called tricking then. You know, I, what I always tell people is <laughs> tricking was yeah, that's training. That's what I like. You know, it's training. Um, you know, every move that we tried to do was, there was a reason. You were going to put it in your form. That was the reason why I did I didn't do it. I didn't learn it just to learn those moves. I did because I wanted it in my form. I wanted to be the first one to do it. You know, and there was things like that. Um, 
And coming up with it, I always knew that I wanted to push martial arts and and being a kicker. And, and it's held on. And what's funny now is as high as tricking is now and popular is in sport karate, almost everyone flips, does something. I've kind of stuck with it now, and I'm in my highest level I've ever been with being sticking to what I am. You know, like Corky Sykes always tells me, remember, you're a kicker, dude. You're a kicker, you know. And, and that's what, you know, has helped me. But not just doing one side kick or, you know, I always come with creative ways to do my kicks and things and um, being able to branch out. Um, you know, I, I always say I do a lot of mental training of always thinking of new things and, and stuff all the time. Of um, It's funny if, if you uh, just, if they put a camera in my car or something, it would be funny because some songs would come on and I will just start like doing a form and I, I, I think sometimes I'm like, I should probably see what this person next to me is thinking because they probably because <laughs> see all these facial expressions on my face or you know I'm thinking all this stuff and they're like man I mean I must look like a nutcase but uh, you know that's how passionate I am about it. it's always it's a 24/7 thing um, and now it's the same thing with not just for me but like oh that would be cool for Aaron or that would be cool for Jacob or whoever else um, in my school you know thinking of you know well what can I do in his form and what can you know what can I do with that and. And it's cool not just to be able to mold myself, but help mold another um, student as well. So. Excellent. And that's, you know, there's, there's, there's good things that I always think when I think Jeff Doss is, you know, he's, he's creative and he's a guy that is just passionate. He lives and breathes sport karate and, and martial arts. And it's really great to see you kind of evolve over the past few years as a promoter now. Yes, yes, yes. And an instructor now. And you're giving back and your students and you can see, you know, your hands on approach and really some great competitors right now. I think one of you guys won grants today. Yes, man, yeah, yes, yeah. Aaron Bailey won his first black belt grant. So, um, and, and you know, he's, he's one that I moved up to just compete as a black belt because I want to get that feel of it. And, um, and he's just taken off. He reminds me a lot of myself and, and you know, the, his intensity and, and, and the way he uh, trains and thinks about Christ the same way as, as when I was that age too. So it's really cool to see. Awesome. And if you don't know, if you're a competitor, you already know, but maybe if you're thinking about competing or you haven't been to Virginia, you know, Grand Slam Open to me is one of those, you know, it's, it's on, the, on the highest level in terms of, you know, his innovation and, and what you're doing, the way you give back and, and the prize money is outrageous for, you know, just really everything that you, you guys do, uh, your family does, it's a fantastic job. How can they get, you know, if they want information on the tournament or they want information on having you come down to a seminar, we had you come down, it was phenomenal. You know, how can they get in touch with Jeff Doss or how can they, you know, get a hold of you? Well, um... I guess first, you know, my uh, I have two websites. I have Jeff Doss Grand Slam, which is uh, the tournament website, and you can also find my information on the NBL website, which is nblskil.com, and that has you know the calendar for all the NBL SKL tournaments. Um, and then we have Grand Slam Martial Arts.com is for my karate schools, but most people probably could contact me on Facebook. I have like 5,000 friends or whatever the max is, I'm close to it. So I have a bunch of groups on there. I have my Grand Slam Open group. I have um, fan pages for things like that, you know, and and I have, you know, just under Jeff Doss on Facebook. And, and you know, I'm, I'm very approachable. Everyone, you know, send me a message, talk, you know, whatever, it's, it's no problem. And um, I've been doing a lot of seminars lately and that's something really that's been cool that uh, I always wanted to be able to do, but lately it's just been, you know, available now, and um, that's something that I enjoy doing, just uh, doing the seminars. I was in New Mexico about three weeks ago for an NBL term out there, and I did a seminar the night before, and uh, it was really cool. I had like 30 to 40, and so it's really pumped me up, because I, I just, you know, another reason that you don't even realize, you know, how many people are watching you, um, and that's something, you know, that I'm proud about, is that um, I've become a good, you know, role model for people, which I don't think I am, but at the same time, just as far as a competitor, like you said, the longevity, longevity speaks for itself, and um, I think it's something that a lot of people, um, you know, look up to, so it's really cool. Excellent. And again, Jeff, I appreciate you coming by and doing yes, this. Sir. It's yes, nice sir. to get all these conversations we've been having for years yes. and years and yes, years yes. On, yes. on tape. And, and if you guys, you know, like I said, if, if you haven't heard of it, make sure you contact them and, and be a part of that, you know, sport karate history and, and just be involved yes. in the sport. I think that's, we have so many martial artists out there that have, you know, never got a chance to compete at a tournament like that or don't know they exist. It exists, you know, yeah. come out, be a part of the movement. I think it's, you know, it, it's, the, it's the best thing we can do for our sport is to yes, get our definitely. young people.